Okay, this is the Blocks Modular uh, Wearable Tech. We're going to talk about that next on Geekazine. All right, we're here with AXA, and uh, it's a little bit noisy here, so I'm going to uh, hold on to the microphone. But uh, we, we talked about your, uh, your, your idea on the show wearabletoday.com uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, great stuff. So, but for those who don't know, tell us a little bit about what it is. Okay, so Blox is the world's first modular smartwatch. The idea is that you have the central core here, which has a Snapdragon 400. It runs Android OS, has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, an IMU so you can do flick gestures, and then we've got also an AMOLED screen. Full on touch, full around. Then we've got each module on the side. Now these modules form your wristband, and each module has a specific function. Something like heart rate, GPS, NFC, extra battery, and the list goes on and on. We're launching with seven different modules, and we're expanding constantly on our list of modules that we have available. All right, so uh, how many how many blocks can you put onto a smartwatch? Is it an infinite number? Or? Uh, we're, so we're working on it quite closely. We're refining the design. Uh, you can fit about four or five on average. It's usually five modules around your wrist on average. Okay. We also have an adjustable clasp so that it can tighten quite nicely around your wrist. Okay. So uh, what we have down here, uh, I'm just going to point to this really quick, is these are, these are some of the modules. Do you know what, what these chips are, or are they just generic? Uh, so these are generic PCBs, this is something that I designed myself. Um, so basically we have a microcontroller that sits on here, um, and then that is basically interfaces with the main core, um, and we use that to actually communicate between the two. Basically we're working with different manufacturers and different hardware sensors, etc., to actually interface and build their sensors on top of this platform. How do you guys deal with uh, things such as sweat and dirt that gets, because you know, with watch bands they get pretty icky after a while. <laughs> yeah, they do, they do. We have to be very careful of this, um, especially if we have different sports functions as well. So we're using a hypoallergenic material. We're also being very careful about how we seal up the connector, making sure that none of this gets in between the connector as well. Um, so uh, you're not out yet. Uh, you made your, your crowdfunding. Uh, you, you got, what was one, well, you said 1.3? 1.6 million dollars. So, and, and so when is the product going to be coming out? Uh, so we're getting beta ready around August. Okay. Uh, we're shipping our Kickstarter batch around the end of May. And the price point? Uh, price point is around 350 to 400 dollars for the core plus four modules. Okay. And how much are individual modules, or does it depend on what they are? Uh, it really depends on what they are, but let's say around 40 dollars per okay. module. Will you be offering uh, module packs of like two or three different items or something like that? Yeah, we're looking into different module packs, maybe things which are actually work quite closely together, maybe like a fitness pack or adventure pack, things like that, uh, and seeing what we can do. And the website is? Uh, the website is www.chooseblocks.com. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. There you go, it's Blocks Modular Smartwatch. The band is the wearable more than the watch itself. And I think that's pretty cool. Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine. we got a lot more action at CES, so stay tuned.